There is a global experiment that's performed on about 1.6 billion people across 70 countries twice a year. When we lose one hour of sleep, we see a 24% increase in heart attack. What we know is that a lack of sleep will impact just about every major physiological system in your body and almost every operation of your mind. For example, if I were to take you and limit you to just four hours of sleep for one single night, there is almost a 70% drop in what we call natural killer cell activity, which are critical anti-cancer fighting immune cells. That's after one night of four hours of sleep. That's crazy. Secondly, if I were to short sleep you for just one week, your levels of testosterone would be that of someone 10 years your senior. Define short sleep. sleep. What, how many hours? So are here we could be talking about four to five hours a night for four or five nights in a row, okay. which if you look at the data on the survey, that's not unusual for perhaps even 20 to 30% of the population, certainly during the week. Um, we also know from daylight savings time that it doesn't take very much because there is a global experiment that's performed on about 1.6 billion people across 70 countries twice a year, and it's called daylight savings time. Now, in the spring, when we lose one hour of sleep, we see a 24% increase in heart attacks the following day. In the fall, we see a 21% decrease in heart attacks. Now, you collide all of that information together, as well as the impact on the brain, the mental health issues regarding anxiety, suicidality, depression, as well as increased risk for Alzheimer's disease. And we've been uh, seeing that as well. Um, all of these things created this perfect storm for Guinness to take a step back. They used to recognize world record breaking attempts. And Guinness says sleep deprivation attempts no longer because they are that much more concerning to your mental, your physical and your cognitive health.